Hey guys, gonna do a quick video here showing you how to program the uh, power saver that we sell. Um, sometimes you might have more than one of these in a car and you wanna be able to uh, program the same remote to both. Uh, so let's say you got three or, or maybe you know two, three, four, five, whatever of these in a car and you wanna use one remote to control all of them. Uh, you can do that. All you have to do is reprogram the little transmitter here. In order to do that, um, the easiest way for me is just to get a pin like this. I just use a five mil uh, little stub off a five mil LED, uh, but it, a paper clip might work if it's, you know, make sure it's a small enough one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump these two pins together. And uh, see, I did it too slow. Uh, there it is. You just for a split second, and what you're trying to do is get this LED to turn on and stay on. So you just literally just touch, pull it right off, and it should go right on. Next, you're going to take the remote that you're trying to clone. So this is the remote for the other power saver, and I want this to work with this controller as well for this power saver. Um, so I'm going to program it. I'll push A, B, and then A again. Now that just programmed it to match to this one. Now, I've got to, because I accidentally held it too long. Uh, if you hold it too long, this is also how you program what the remote does. So if you hold it too long, it'll flash one time, and that's the wrong mode. So it put it in the, the wrong mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into it. I'm going to hold it down until it flashes three times. That means I'm right in the right mode now. Actually, I think I did two. Hold on now. Flash one, two, one, two, three. There we go. And that is now back into the same mode. So you see the first button I push. This is for the output that goes to the ghost for power for the show modes, which is A. And when I push it to activate, it flashes once. Deactivate, it flashes twice. This is the main latch for the actual relay. Push once to latch, push twice to de-latch. Well, push push B to latch, push it again to, to de-latch. So now I know it's back in, this, in the proper mode. I have now linked this controller to this power saver. I could do that on as many as I need to. And uh, it's just an easy way to get them to uh, one remote control multiple power savers if you have multiple ones on a car. Uh, do keep in mind there is a range uh, factor to this. So, you know, if, uh, if you got one in the trunk and you got one under the hood, it is possible that interference and other things may give you a weak signal. So it may become difficult for you to send a signal to both. And it's possible that you could get these in a position where when you push the button, one turns on and one turns off. And uh, the way to reset that would be to pull the fuse. Uh, but keep that in mind. In general, I wouldn't use one remote for all unless you're doing, uh, you, unless you're installing these in the same location, just to be safe. Because, you know, if you have some in the trunk, some under the hood, uh, you run the risk of having some issues with that. So you can also program two of these. You can clone them. Uh, so this is actually a clonable one, and uh, the way they work, you just push down the A and the B button until it starts flashing, and that means that it's cleared out, and then you will push both A's at the same time, and it will go solid blue, and that means that it has uh, recognized the signal, and then you will push both B's at the same time, and it will go solid blue recognizing that it has found the signal. Uh, and that's a way to clone. So if you want to have two remotes, maybe you want to have a backup that you put in a safe location in case you lose your remote. This would be the only way to clone. Uh, so if you lose your remote, you're kind of screwed. But uh, if you just need a backup, that is a great way to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it. It's really hard to do one-handed. But uh, the instructions are usually included with the clone remote. It has to be clonable. These are not clonable, uh, the ones that are shipped with the power savers. Uh, like I said, you can change the power savers to work with one of these remotes, but you cannot make two of these remotes work with multiple power savers. It doesn't quite work that way. Uh, so if you do want that, you'll have to get a clonable 
version of the remote, which you can get online. They're not too expensive, but uh, hopefully that helps. Gives you a little bit more info and uh, gives you some ideas of some things that you can do.